What is up guys, Johnny here. Today we look at the Battle Tower in Creature Quest. In the Battle Tower you try to climb as high as possible. As you climb up, the difficulty will increase and the rewards will get better and better until you reach the top. The Battle Tower resets every week so you can do it all over again and claim the rewards again. If you can reach level 49 every week, you will get a Greater Essence. The greater Essence is one of the most valuable resources in the game it will allow you to awaken your legendary creatures. On top of that, you have a leaderboard. If you can score high, you will get extra rewards. You might wonder how some of these players are getting 6 million points every week. Today we'll look at the scoring system, some scoring strategies, and some of the best creatures for every color. For today's example, we will look at tower level 14. If you look at the score for battle tower 14, I got 47,000 points. Look at the top, you see the damage points. Damage points is the damage you deal on the battle. The color points can double your base points. If you score points with the right colors, you get extra points. You can get extra overkill points if you do uh, splat overkills. Uh, it's gonna give you a little extra on your base score. Then on the green numbers, you will have the multipliers. That's where you're gonna get uh, a lot more than you can get usually you get a mana bonus i think it can go up to 10 percent then you get survival bonus 100 percent maximum and the size bonus the smaller the creatures the bigger the size bonus will be so your goal is to try is to try to beat uh, all the levels with only small creatures to try to get that 250 percent uh, extra bonus survival bonus is the uh, remaining hp on your creatures if none of your creature died and all are full HP at the end of the level, you will get 100%. The mana bonus is the extra mana left. So you try to not use, if you don't have to, try to not use your special abilities and try to get full mana at the end. So in this example, I'll take the uh, level 14 again and I will just beat the level real quick with uh, uh, big uh, creatures. I will go with a team of full legendaries and I can even go um, auto battle you, you will see like if you have a full team of legendaries a battle tower can be very easy you can climb up super fast but you're not gonna get a lot of points you will see the scoring at the end i got 5197 points of damage total in this level i got extra color points because i had uh i had two green creatures on my team and all the enemy creatures were yellow so anytime I do damage on a yellow creature with my green creatures, it gives me extra color points. Uh, anytime I did damage with my uh, white or black creatures, it does not award me extra points. So of all the 5,000 points available, if I do all the damage with green creatures, uh, I will have another 5,000 points of damage. So my base score is 6,600 something. Then the um, multiplier bonus, my mana bonus is at 5% because I did use a lot of special abilities towards the battle and at the end my creatures were not full. Survival bonus, I got a whole 100%. All my creatures were alive and they were at full HP at the end. And size bonus, I got just 10% bonus because I use legendary creatures. So let's do it again with a team of all small creatures and all green. So this time we will not use um the auto battle because we don't want to use our ultimate skills or our special abilities and we're going to try to fool all the mana on all the creatures so we only have four waves so as you can see uh my top left creature is full so i will not start with that one i will start with the right and try to get mana or mana balls on all my creatures so we'll do the same here starting from the right and we'll be able to do it again. So looking for the creatures that are not full, we'll do the same thing here. And by the way, we're not taking much damage here. That's not full. That's not full. And we'll be closing the deal here. There you go. So all my creatures are alive. Pretty much my all my mana is full. Should get a good bonus with that. Here we go. So 4,900 uh base point of damage plus 4900 of color points because all the damage i done i've done 
was uh, with the right color. Then mana bonus 9.7 could have had a little bit more. Survival bonus 100%. And size bonus, I had 10% on the previous run. Now we have uh, 250%. So that's where you get the big points. Use small creatures on the battle tower for big scores. So first thing you should do is try to get five small creatures of every color. You have a, a lot of slots for teams. Uh, you can use them if you want. What I did just to save time is I have a slot for a red team. So as you can see, five small red creatures and I have five small green, five small black, five small uh, white, and the same for blue and yellow. And I have an extra slot for towers. So when I have a monocolor tower, I will use one of my preset teams. And then for the other towers or for, for the other encounters with multiple colors, I will change my team every time. If you want to save time, you could go on creatures and put all the creatures that you use on the battle tower as a favorite and then just click on favorite and you're ready to go. It saves a lot of time if you have to do that every week. Now we're going to take a look at the best creatures of each color as a small creature. Uh, for blue, I really like the toad because it's got a very high single target damage and also a multi-target stun. It will help on the higher level when you need to stun multiple targets to create to keep your creatures alive then um, i kind of like that one because of the man um, it provides a 50 percent power man buff uh, plus a defense buff so when you get to higher levels again uh, the man buff is gonna help a lot anytime you attack you heal yourself it's gonna help with the survivability Next one is the other is uh, I don't know if you say other or otter, but hey, this is a very high single target nuke. You're gonna need that one for sure. The royal jester is also pretty good because of the AOE heal, so you might want to use that in some of the uh, higher levels also. One of the best creature overall as a red creature, and in many levels when you you only need to use one red creature, you will want to use the ant. The ant is very nice. It's got a. Um, uh, it's gonna heal the team for 30% defense. It's gonna clean the debuff, and it's gonna also buff the attack of your whole team. Very, very, very good creature. You wanna invest in that one for sure. Uh, then the imp is pretty good. Very good damage, uh, and the squirrel is very, very good also. Uh, it's got a defense debuff. It's very good versus large or uh, boss creatures. So yeah, you wanna include that one in your arsenal. For green creature, uh, the statue is debatable. It's very good if you have a tough time beating some of the top um, top stages. But it's not a small creature, so you're gonna lose a little bit on your bonuses. But it's gonna help you beat some of these uh, tower levels that you will not be able to beat maybe with, with only small creatures. If you want to just look for small, the best green small creature, and pretty sure everyone will agree with that, is the Mantis. Mantis got amazing damage, very, very nice. Uh, another one uh, that is pretty useful is the Clericon. And then the last one, very situational, but in one of the last final stage, you will need that one against the Angel, because you want to clean uh, the debuff on your team. Uh, it's gonna burn your team if you don't clean that you're dead there's no way you're gonna beat the angel without uh, a cleanse now for the yellow definitely want uh one of these uh, butterflies because of the man buff again uh and also it's gonna heal your whole the whole team so heal uh protection and man very nice one of the most useful creatures and the second best one you also want to invest in is the bee the bee has got one of the best damage as a yellow small creature for white now uh probably one of the most used creature for battle tower is the jackalope sheriff it's got the stun it's got a high single uh, target damage and second one would be definitely the ornithopter uh, ornithopter thopter yeah, that one is gonna revive. You're gonna lose some bonus if your creature dies, but it's gonna revive, it's gonna help you finish. 
and it's also gonna heal so you need some healing you need survivability so that one is a good one uh, a couple more you can use definitely the gnome because of multi-target stun you're gonna need that later on and the pug could be used pretty much now for the black creatures you will want two bats very very nice it's got very good damage and it's gonna heal itself and it's gonna heal adjacent creatures so you might want to have two bats in your arsenal the black cat is uh has got some crazy damage which is very useful on the higher levels i really like that one here also the vengeful demon it's got silence it's got good single target damage okay so one last thing once you get like five good small creatures of every color the second thing you could do that would really help is uh enchant your creatures i know some of you guys might not have the resource but you can just go for bronze tier uh, enchants no need to go crazy here just a little extra base stats on all your useful small creatures you're gonna use them anyway so might as well invest so enchants just extra stat no need to go crazy see here i got like just a couple more hp 758 it could go up to a thousand i could reroll 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 if i want to um it's up to you for real but it's gonna help uh usually i increase attack on my creatures but that one is uh different the ant needs a little extra defense and that will definitely help because uh the special ability will heal the team for 30 percent defense so extra defense could help and also survivability one thing that people really like to do uh, on battle tower creatures is uh percentage of the power heal all on dead blow so that means anytime you you kill a creature it will heal all the team so just a little extra sometimes will make a difference and then on top of that you could go and add power to all your creatures that have uh four or five percent extra power heal and that's very low i got four percent is gonna go between four and eight so i could reroll that also i'm just telling you if you want to invest it's a good thing to do add power to your creatures uh and then heal everyone on that blow so anytime one of your creature will kill something all your creatures will get some extra hp then defense or attack depending on your creatures and then extra hp cannot uh be bad right um so yeah that's gonna be it guys so again thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to hit the like if you enjoy subscribe to the channel and don't forget to watch my other creature quest videos i will be back soon take care